Hello guys, this is Mer. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to share with you the common reason for the refusal of visitor's visa or your tourist visa. Uh, guys, just, just to clarify with you, I'm not a liaison officer or I'm not connected to any embassy or any consul. This is just based on my personal experience. So usually the embassy or the consul are looking for three things. These are include yung financial nyo, yung travel history nyo, and your ties to home country. Okay, so when you submit your tourist visa application, the officer or the consul, uh, consul are looking for yung ID documents nyo, or yung passport nyo, yung visa application form nyo, birth certificate, marriage certificate, something like this. Okay, so they're also checking why you're coming to or you're going to U.S., for example, or to Europe, or to Japan, or to Korea, or to China. Who you're going to stay with, who's going to provide the accommodation, and where you're going to travel to while in, for example, sa US or sa Europe. Okay, so ano pa yung mga chinecheck nila? Okay, so they're also checking uh, if you can provide that you're going to exit the country. So these are your ties to your home country. Let's say... Ito yung tinatawag natin na properties. Kung may properties kayo, you have investment, you have bank account, you have financial responsibilities, or yung mga binabayaran nyo, like if you have credit card, if you have, uh, uh, may hinuhulugan kayong sasakyan, may hinuhulugan kayong bahay, employment, kung may trabaho kayo, schools, kung nag-aaral kayo. Okay, so usually they are checking for this. So now, when you submit the application, the officer also look at your travel history. So they want to know if you traveled outside your country before. So like, uh, have, you, have you gone to US or say Europe or say Asia? How long did you stay for? And then how frequently do you travel? So if you never traveled before, then syempre, the officer or the consul do become concerned. So why, why you never travel before and why your first destination is this okay so for that reason it's important that uh, you have a significant reason so let's say for example if someone invited you for a wedding you must provide um, invitation or wedding invitation for example uh, ano pa? let's say for example you're going to to watch a concert okay you have to provide a ticket Okay, so ano pa yung mga iba pang pwede mong isama dito? Yung round trip ticket mo, katunayan na babalik ka talaga. Okay, so I'm not saying na kailangan mong magpabook ka agad. Okay, so you can ask someone or travel agency na pwedeng mag-block or mag-hold ng ticket nyo. Okay, so usually these are the the reason, na, uh, sorry, usually these are the uh, three things na chinicheck ng um, embassy or ng consul. So, this is just a tip. Sana nakatulong po sa inyo. And if you have question, you can comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you!